A magnitude 6.2 earthquake shook western Japan shortly after 2 a.m. local time on Friday. The Japan Meteorological Agency says the quake's epicenter was in the western part of the Seto Inland Sea at a depth of 78 kilometers. It did not trigger a tsunami. The jolt was felt across wide areas in western Japan. So far, 13 people have been injured in five prefectures, Hiroshima, Yamaguchi, Okayama, Oita, and Kochi. Many of them fell while trying to evacuate their homes. Police have received reports that the walls of some houses have been damaged. The authorities are warning residents in the region to be prepared for aftershocks. Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority has decided to prioritize their safety screening process for one of the nation's nuclear plants. This means the plant in southwestern Japan will likely be the first to clear the first hurdle towards a resumption of operations. The authority announced the screening prioritization for the number one and two reactors at the Sendai nuclear plant in Kagoshima Prefecture. The plant is operated by Kyushu Electric Power Company. All of Japan's 48 commercial reactors are now offline. They must pass the screening before being reactivated. The authority discussed whether to speed up procedures for the six of the ten nuclear plants now in the advanced stages of the safety review. Prioritization includes confirmation of the maximum levels of expected earthquakes and the height of possible tsunami. Prioritization includes confirmation of the maximum levels of expected earthquakes and the height of possible tsunami. The operator has raised its estimate for the maximum levels of tremors and tsunamis. The authority will issue a report on the results of the safety review process. It will allow a restart after lis listening to experts' views and holding public hearings in the prefecture. Kyushu Electric hopes to resume operations at the Sendai plant before demand surges in the summer months. But still ahead for the utility is future on-site inspections and persuading local residents that restarting the reactors is safe. We felt that putting our users in mortal danger for a quick buck was the right move. 